Hey there, happy hump day. Um, I actually don't know why I say that because someone could watch this three years from now and if they're anything like me, I'll watch a video and I'll be like, it's not Saturday and because you're watching it way far into the future. But anyway, today is Wednesday that I'm making this, so happy hump day. Um, I'm going to do um, some alcohol ink uh, today painting and blowing and all that fun stuff. So um, here we go. I have black and it is rolled out onto a two on my Atlas 150. Everyone always asks what pasta machine I have. I have the Atlas 150. So there we go. Um, so we're going to start off with black. I'm using the alcohol inks that I've been using. I'll put a link this one is the deeper white, not the sinking white. Um, and I'm going to brush the white on. You can drop it right on the black if you want. I'm just putting it on my brush so I don't get white spots. Okay, and then we're going to use avocado, turquoise, forget-me-not, and coffee. And we are going to drop these on and then blow them around. So I'm going to start with forget-me-not. The reason I did the white, obviously, at first was to... Um, so that you could see the colors. But I like to do it on the black because it just looks cool. Makes a cool effect. Already that has taken over. So you're just dropping these kind of wherever. I'm going to do one drop of forget me not here because I actually wanted a little bit more blue on this one. I had a lot of um, green on the last batch that I did. And then just a, a little bit of coffee. I don't want too much coffee. <laughs> that is way too much coffee. So I'm going to put, put some turquoise over here. Okay. And then the last one that I'm doing is out of the metallic. So this one is beige. And this is just going to bring out, like right now it looks really dark. This is actually going to bring out those colors that I just dropped. So we're just going to drop these beige. All right. Did I clog? I know what's going to happen. I'm going to squeeze too hard and it's going to go, yep, everywhere. So you see how it brings up the blues and the greens? I'll drop one right here too. Plus it gives a little bit of a shimmer. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll drop a small one right here. Okay. All 
I think that's good. Okay. So we're going to let that dry for just a minute. I want a little something down here. Hold on. There we go. I like that. Let me see what happens if I do this. Oh. I like that. See, you learned something as I'm going here. Put a little more of the, what, whichever color, the blue or the green, on top of that beige. And that gives a really cool effect too, as you can see. Okay, I'm done playing. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry, I'm gonna put this on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I sped it along a little bit and I dabbed it because it was taking a while. So all I'm really gonna do now is just cut out my shapes. This is no longer an earring shape, this is now a hair clip shape because I love this shape as a hair clip. So I'm gonna cut out some of these, I, I like to get some of the black in there, just because I think it looks cooler. But you can do whatever you would like. So I'm going to do that, and I didn't do a heart the last time when I made this particular slab, so I'm going to do a heart. There we go. Okay. So. There we go. That's how they look, if you can see. Very shiny and shimmery. Just fixing them up here a little bit so that I don't have to when they come out. So they look with a little bit of black in them. I didn't wear hair clips until I started making them and now I wear them almost every day. I love them. And I love this shape for a hair clip too. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bake these 275 for 35 minutes. Um, and I will be back. See you in a minute. Hey there, I'm back. So this is how they look. Yummy, yummy. When they come out, so nice. So, I'm going to show you guys, you guys have been wanting to know how I do my hair clips. Um, so I'm going to show you, I literally just glue them on, but I also wanted to show you, I had, I, uh, and I'll put a link to these, um, but these are the new ones that I got and I love them. They're like super tight. They hold your hair really well. They have the little gator teeth on there, um, but they're three sizes. So if you can see that. The pack is in three sizes. So I'm gonna use these for these because they hide well back here. They hide just right. And they're so cute as hair clips. That's why I said I changed, that's not an earring maker anymore, it's a, it's a hair clip maker. So I just use my rotary tool, which you guys have seen before. I can put a link to this as well. This sander doesn't stay on very well because I have the wrong size rubber thing on here, but I make it work anyway. So just kind of scuff up, scuff up the tops of these a little bit. And then scuff up the back of these. Just so that it has 
you know, a, kind of a, a rough surface to attach to. And then I literally just glue them on with Gorilla glue, glue is what I have now. Sometimes I use Loctite. Make sure that these are not dusty in any way or oily or anything like that. And then how I do this is, so you don't get it all over you, have it ready to go. So I hold on to the bottom little part down here and then I just dab, dab, dab when it comes out. Dab, 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 dab. All the way down the whole thing. Make sure you grab the side and then place it. You have a second to place it where you need to. And then leave it like that for now. But then I'm gonna press the ends down so that they go flat also. Because right now just the middle is touching, so. Just dab, dab, dab. I hope I'm in camera, okay. Dab, 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 dab. You don't need too much, but you do need enough. One of those. Put it on. Like so. I'm gonna let those go over there for a second while I tell you guys that tomorrow is the last day for the mystery mix boxes. Oh, I'm gonna pause this because I need to show you something. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So I was telling you about the mystery mix boxes that I've been doing for the whole month of June. You get five pieces of jewelry for $15. It's quite the bargain. And um, I think I've told you guys this before, but I'm a lamp work artist, so I do make glass beads. So you will get one of these lariat necklaces, these really pretty lariat necklaces. You'll get one of these in your box. I usually sell these for $50 and you're getting them for five bucks in your mystery box. So, and you can even tell me which color you want, but you will get one of these with your, five, your, with your $15 mystery mix box. So tomorrow's the last day. You have today and tomorrow. And then also $10 for all jewelry on the site. And I still haven't gotten my sprays back up there, but I promise I will before the weekend. So with these, and that's at treysclay.com, T-R-E-Y-S-C-L-A-Y.com. Um, so now that the middle is done, just kind of squish the front and the back so that those adhere, and you're going to have to hold that for a second. Just hold them down for just a second. And then that's completely sealed down. And if you have anything that's spilled out over the edge, which I don't, and I can't believe I don't, um, just take a paper towel and kind of swipe across it. But beep, 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 beep. see, they work really well and they're so cute and I wear them all the time. Just smush the sides, front and back. Doesn't take long, but then they're completely down. If you can see that, totally flat. And no spillage on that one either. See, and they hold, they hold well. I haven't had any come apart and I haven't had any of my client or customers tell me that they come apart so that's those and I'll put a link for those um, clips the alcohol links the blower all the all the stuff I'll put links up there for you guys um, and that's it hope you guys enjoyed and show me what you've made don't forget to join happy place studio Facebook group and show off all your stuff and promote yourself and everything else have a great day, guys. See, you'll see me tomorrow. Bye.